Hi everybody, it's Robin, I'm back. What we're gonna do this afternoon is I wanna show you a few things. We're gonna do the unboxing that I promised you. Got an Amazon package, super excited. And then I wanna show you a couple of things that I got for Christmas from my family. And I'll show you the little project that I'm working on right now. To start with, let me show you the project. I'm so excited about this, it's coming out very well. It's small. I have a tendency to make things that are big and they take forever, but this time I'm making a little baby blanket. See, it's real pretty. It's come along nice. This, the yarn is super soft. This came from a kit. Uh, I belong to the crochet of the month kit from, I think it's Annie's. It is Annie's. It's the crochet of the month from Annie's. And every month they send me a kit with yarn and instructions and you can make the item that they sent you or not. It's your choice, obviously. And the yarn is this really soft, soft, soft. And it is a two weight, which I've never worked with before. And I was a little concerned about it, but it's working up very, very nicely. And again, very soft. This is coming on fine. I should finish it in a couple of days. And this is for one of the guys here on the rig who is having a baby next month. Him and his wife are having a baby next month. So I wanted to do a little something for them. I was really, really blessed this year by my family members. My daughter, who lives here in Texas, on the other side of Texas, mailed me a box with some wonderful items in it. And my grandson, who lives in Washington State, and they sent me down some lovely items. So let me show you a couple of things, just a couple of things that they sent that I'm really excited about. This is, I don't even know what they call it, a spindle, I think, a yarn spindle. Anyway, you put your yarn cone on there and then you can pull off the end of it and it just rolls right off. This is gonna make it so much nicer than pulling and fighting from that center pull that turns into yarn barf, as you all know, a great big pile of tangled up yarn. Anyway, this is supposed to help with that. It's got little rubber feet on it, so it won't skid around. And I can just sit that on the table next to me and pull my yarn off of that. So I'm real excited about this little item. We'll see how that works. On my next skein of yarn on this baby blanket, I will pull from the outside instead of the middle, and we'll see how well that works. And then my daughter sent me a set of blocking pins. Can you see that? So instead of using individual pins, you've got a set of them. So it should make it a lot easier when I'm trying to block my larger items. Uh, instead of having 3 million straight pins, we can use these. Uh, this is something I've wanted for a long time. But you know how we are. We won't buy these kind of things for ourselves. Now, one of the things that I plan on doing this year is learning how to knit well actually i know how to knit i don't knit very well and so i want to get much better i do very very basic knitting um, i've crocheted the majority of my life and all almost all of my projects that i make are crocheted i do a lot of cross stitching i love to cross stitch as well but as far as yarn works it is crochet that i do i can't even remember the last time i knitted anything so I told my daughter that I wanted to get better at knitting this year. So we'll see how that goes. She sent me these two beautiful, glorious pairs of knitting needles. This one, can you see, it's an Addy Rocket. And this is a small cable specifically for making hats. I thought making a hat would be a good way to start with a knitting project. And then this fancy thing, I don't even know how to say this right, but I think it's Chiogu, uh, another very, very good quality. This thing is made of surgical grade stainless steel. So this thing ought to hold up pretty darn well. And it's another cable needle. And this cable is 32 inches long. So that's going to be a really good cable for a blanket, I would think, or a sweater. Um, look at this thing. Isn't that gorgeous? That beautiful red cable. And it does not tangle. It doesn't get twisty. Uh, it's easy to move around and that's supposed to make it much easier when you are working with cable in knitting. Those are, those, that can be one of the problems when you're working with cabling is they they are kind of too solid. I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, these move around real, real easy as you saw there. 
So anyway, two super exciting gifts for my knitting and the, the blocking pins are going to be so much easier to work with than just a bunch of straight pins. And we got some happy mail. This, uh, I ordered this from Amazon. I have an idea what it is. I'm not 100% sure because like most of us, I order a lot of things from Amazon. I have not looked at it yet. I did open the package, so you didn't have to watch me fumble with that. So let's take a peek. Oh, it is. It is what I thought it was going to be. I don't know about you guys, but I have a million product ideas and I have project ideas and I have a million, a million skeins of yarn and nothing is in any order at all. It is all willy nilly. I've got, as you know, we live in an RV with very, very, very limited space and I have a wall in the back of bins full of yarn. And even just the eight or 10 bins that I have here, I pretty much know what I have, but not 100% know what I have. So I got this, which is a crochet companion. And see, I has the little girl with dark hair laying on the couch crocheting with her kitty cat helping. This book is put out by Crow Joe Corner. I don't know if that's coming out the right way or not. Anyway, she has a whole line of these um, knitting or crochet journals, and they all have different designs on the front, so you can pick and choose what design you want. I really like this one. Let's see if somebody's coming. I don't think so. Nope, that's not for us. Okay, so in this book, is a bunch of pages to be able to keep track of what you're working on, keep track of what you're planning, keeping track of your yarn, weekly projects, ideas, pattern ideas. But I think, of course, I'm not creating any patterns, but I do have lots of ideas for patterns that I want to make. And so I can keep those kinds of notes there as well. I have a mazillion patterns that I have downloaded and I can't even keep track of it. There's so many different places to keep track of patterns. Some are in Pinterest, some are in Etsy, some are in uh, Ravelry. Some of them you just have to download. I download onto my phone and I don't even know how to access. Them. Oh, and then there's Squarebox. So I've got patterns everywhere. Uh, I try to print them out, but it's really, really hard in the motorhome. Um, I do have a little printer, but I have to dig it out, find a place to plug it in. Uh, print it out. Hope I've got internet connection so it'll work and um, print them out. And then I have to keep track of the printed out pattern. So, you know, that's how that goes. But then once you are making your projects, you can keep track of notes about the projects, which is what I really need. Um, I have UFOs, just like with the rest of us. I've got boxes of, in the back with UFOs. And that's one of the things that I really want to work on catching up this year. But anyway, I thought this might help me keep better track of what was going. Oh, look, yarn inventory. Boy, do I need that. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, this beautiful book, Crochet Wish List, Notes. This beautiful book is going to really come in handy for me. It is hefty. You can see this is thick. I'm going to guess the better part of an inch thick. Uh, there's a lot of pages in this. The pages are not numbered, but it seems to me when I purchased this, it said there was in the neighborhood of 200 pages, maybe more. Oh, look at this. How cool is this? There's a place to keep your passwords for all your yarn related websites. Ravelry, Etsy, Hirschner's, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Hmm, yeah. I have stuff in all of those. This thing is going to be wonderful. I think I'm really, really pleased with this. This was about 20 bucks, And I think for as big as this is and as good as all the pages are, super, super pleased with this purchase. Um, Crow Joe Corner. C-R-O-J-O -O Corner. I do know that she has one. That she, these, this was from Amazon, and she's got a million of them on Amazon. I do know she has another one that is spiral bound. It was a little bit more, and I just decided I didn't need the spiral bound. 
when I get to working in this, I'll probably wish I had bought the Spiral Brown. That one you cannot get on Amazon. That one you have to go to her own website and uh, purchase that. I think it may be well worth it. She also has a YouTube channel, uh, and it says crojocorner.com will get you to her stuff. So I think I think this is going to be really really good. I'm I'm very pleased with this particular purchase. So that's kind of it. That's what's going on today in my world. Uh, the gate has not been super busy, so I'm able to do a few things around here, clean up a few things, look for a few things that I have misplaced. That's me. Um, I am going to be hopefully doing more videos. Uh, as we're doing gate guarding, as you can see, I have days where there's downtime. Today has been relatively slow. There are days where we're super busy and I don't have time to do anything at all. But I will keep you apprised of what's going on in my world. So for now, bye-bye. Happy crocheting.